now that we've learned how to layer one color evenly with colored pencils, we want to now layer two colors, that is to put another color on top of the previously layered color to see what effect it has. Our goal will be to blend the two colors together and make the patch of color, the little square of color that we're doing, to make that opaque. Opaque means that you don't see any of the paper showing through. It looks like a solid color when you're done. We'll use red, blue, and green as our base or first layered colors. After that, we'll use white, another color, and powder blue to layer on top to see how that changes the color and what effect it uh, will create. We will use the same technique that we used in the previous handout and try to layer a very even layer. That will help us later to also create an even solid color when we layer the second layer. At this point, I'll go ahead and speed up the video and you can see how I will color all the boxes. The first is red, the second is blue, and the third is green. My goal is to create an even layer of color in each box. Now I will start with the second layer. The first color I'll use is white. So the top, top box will get white. Then I'll move down to uh, the second box, which is yellow in this case. And the third box will be powder blue. My goal will be to apply the color on top of the first color, blend the two colors together, and make the box an opaque color so that I don't see any of the paper underneath and I make a real solid, even color. The next color I will use is yellow. It will have a different effect, and that's the purpose of this, so we can see what effect it will have. It's a light yellow, so I'm trying to keep it lighter, but even though it's a light yellow, we can see in this case, it actually creates a darker look to the color. I'll go ahead and blend that and attempt to make a very even color. If it's darker than I have intended, I can always use some white to blend into that if I want to, or I might leave it as it is. Finally, I will use powder blue for the third box and go over that to also attempt to blend it. It will also create a different effect, but my goal will be to make an even opaque color when I'm done.
Now I'll go ahead and work on the blue boxes and the green. The top box on the blue will get white. The middle box uh, gets a green and the lower box gets powder blue. I will try to make them very even and opaque like I did the first boxes. On the green boxes, the top box will be white, the second box will be uh, yellow, and the third box will be powder blue as well. And I will also try to finish those the same as I did the other boxes to make a very even solid and opaque color. Remember when you are blending the second box, second box in the blue and the second box in the green, choose a light color. So for the blue, I want to choose a light green. And for the green, I want to choose a lighter yellow, just so the, the color doesn't become too dark. Go ahead and finish the green boxes using the second color indicated on the side of the boxes. And when you're finished, it should look approximately like this example here. It doesn't have to be exactly the same.